Hello, welcome to part three of our next SL crank installation uh, videos. Uh, this is part three and we're going to show you the um, bottom bracket that we're going to use and we're going to install the cranks and the bottom bracket on the bike and hopefully uh, um, you should see that it's quite easy to do and a relatively straightforward home mechanics job that you could tackle yourself. This is how the Hope bottom bracket um, arrives. That's uh, quite a nice um, storage pot that everything comes in. It's all self-contained and we'll show you the bits that are inside the packaging. This is what's inside the pot. Um, two halves of the bottom bracket. The rings here are spacers um, that you use to obviously space out the um, bottom bracket depending on um, how large um, the uh, bottom bracket um, hole is in your frame for want of a better word. Um, set hope fitting instructions, your obligatory hope sticker and uh, that's that. The other thing you'll need is a hope bottom bracket spanner. This is um, specifically made by Hope for their 30mm bottom brackets. Um, it is bespoke to this particular application and as far as I'm aware it will only fit a Hope bottom bracket or a Hope 30mm bottom bracket even. Um, just a word of warning, this has either been cut out with um, a laser or with a water jet and the edges here are quite sharp. So um, at a later point I'm going to put some foam on this or um, plaster coat it but for now I shall wear a pair of gloves so I don't cut my hands to ribbons when I use it. One of the nice things about this system is as you can see um, Hope have engraved on each side of the bottom bracket the direction in which you turn it to tighten it up and also which side of the bottom bracket is which so as you can see this side is the drive side which would be the side where your um, chain ring is and obviously the other side is a non-drive side and uh, both of them are marked um, the non-drive side one has got a left hand thread on and you thread it the opposite way around to uh, a normal bolt but apart from that that's pretty straightforward the first thing you want to do before installing this into the bike is to use some grease. Um, I'm going to use this uh, grease here. Grease the threads thoroughly, put a nice big blob on, run them round like so. This will stop um, the bottom bracket um, getting um, stuck in the frame and will make your life a lot easier for both servicing and the life of the bottom bracket. Also uh, I've just put some grease in the bottom bracket itself, nice good coating. This will also just help to ensure uh, that everything is watertight and that nothing will uh, seize up and uh, everything will be good to go. The non-drive side cup is now installed. Um, you don't have to go super tight with it, just make sure that's hand tight and about another eighth to a quarter of a turn after that and that should be sufficient. You haven't got to go uh, crazy with this at all, just make sure that's good and tight but not over tight. Before you fit the drive side cup you must uh, be aware that you have to fit spaces to get a 50mm chain line. In my particular application, I know that I just need one of these spacers, which is two and a half mil. You just plop that over there like that, and then screw it in as you would the other side. The next thing to do is to coat the um, actual axle in some grease. Uh, this uh, also ensures smooth running and um, no corrosion. So we'll do that, and then we'll go on to the next step. This is the axle greased and ready to install. This is the non-drive side, so this axle goes through from left to right. See, the axle slid through nicely. 
that's the non-drive side and this is the drive side so all we've got to do now is attach the uh, drive side arm and that's pretty straightforward so we'll do that this next. This is the drive side crank bolted up all you need to do is put an 8mm allen key in this hole and tighten it up to about 50 newton meters. So all we have to do now is turn this uh, preload adjuster like so and you just uh, till that nip up and uh, once you do that I don't know if you can see that but there's a little bolt at the top here and all you have to do is do that up so the gap is taken up and uh, that should be your cranks adjusted. I thought I'd finish this video by taking the bike outside and showing you the finished article with the pedals and the chain and everything on the bike. Um, this project was super easy to do and should take you no longer than an hour really. Um, and thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time for another video.